There are many reasons to make your way through Lesotho. Spectacular scenery of the rugged mountains, massive dongas and sparkling waterfalls that inspire a sense of awe in any man and brings him just that little bit closer to nature. But like any great adventure, it's not going to be easy, not even a little bit. Three o'clock in the morning on the 16th of July, the 17 of us ready nine 4x4s and two quads to tackle Baboon's Pass in the middle of winter. Morning guys, we uh, in Kodak now, busy filling up with juice. It's now, what about just after five o'clock, half past five, a little bit on the chill side. And the uh, trip's going well so far. We are nine vehicles, a little bit more than what we originally thought we were going to be. And yeah, on our way, so we're excited and ready to, we just want to hit the road and get going. Thinking about the challenge makes any adventure lover's heart race, but we were unsure of what to expect, having heard many horror stories of what lies ahead in the snow. Between Aliwal North and the border post, and we hit the much needed roadworks in the area, where we had to dodge crater like potholes before we swiftly checked through the SA side of the border post. We were a bit worried about the Lesotho side, but we were welcomed with a toothy grin and a mountain of paperwork that took us about 30 minutes behind us. What are we doing now? We are now paying money and getting stamps. And we're officially in Lesotho. What did you think about that dodgings ride? No, it was nice, uh, especially with that trailer. <laughs> you enjoy it? <laughs> I was fine, I was worried about the trailer. <laughs> there we were pleasantly surprised by the excellent conditions of the roads compared to what we faced an hour ago on the opposite side of the border. We had to head through several small towns as we came closer and closer to the Boone's Pass. Moving through the streets of these towns, we noticed an interesting phenomenon. 99% of the taxis were Toyotas, with only one Nissan seen cruising down the main road. Stopping in the last town to fill up our tanks and stock up on supplies, because from here, we set off for the unknown. Okay. I've driven stock cars, racing cars, Chevy can -Ams. I've done everything. Driven racing motorbikes, never been 4x4. Why didn't you do this at home, Philip? I did, but uh, clearly I made a, a SOTI knot here, not a Buddha knot. So he yeah, put no lock. In Philip's defence, he did tie that knot with a broken shoulder. Now we set off into the real Lesotho, the mountain kingdom, a tiny country in the middle of South Africa. It's a landscape defined by its rocky, savage peaks and distant gorges at this time of year. It's a winter wonderland that promises adventure to the brave, any 4x4 enthusiast's dream.